Video of a conflict that happened inside of an Austin Vietnamese restaurant is garnering tens of thousands of views on social media and sparking conversations about hate against Asian Americans and how to help stop it. KXAN's Tahir Rahman reports what message the owner of the video is trying to send to her community. Whitney Spence was having lunch at one of her favorite restaurants at the Chinatown Center when a tense situation unfolded. You don't need to insult people. Spence says this customer got upset when she asked for something that wasn't on the menu. That's when she stood up and said to speak effing English and get me someone that speaks English. Spence says she started recording this video when the woman came back inside to pick up her order and it wasn't packed to go. I just wanted it for evidence in case something happened. One Austin leader is trying to bring awareness to incidents like this and others across the state of Texas. She says so many of these go unreported. Some Asian cultures and groups come from places where speaking out gets you in trouble. Hannah Huang is with the city's Asian American Quality of Life Commission. She's also working on a documentary series. Hey Sherry. Community members who they went on camera and they spoke to their younger selves about what they would have liked to know about the Asian discrimination and racism that they would endure. She says sharing these stories and submitting them to national groups like Stop AAPI Hate can bring about local change, like recent town halls held by the city. Spence hopes spreading her video will encourage more Austinites to protect each other. We're all people, so don't treat them poorly. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. Stop AAPI Hate is a national group that tracks anti-Asian racism across the U.S. They released their latest report in September. The group says they've received more than 9,000 reports nationally between March of 2020 and June of 2021. They say the most common type of discrimination reported was verbal harassment, although they report that physical assaults have increased by 10 percent over the last year. The coalition says a majority of incidents are traumatic and harmful, but not hate crimes.